What's good, everybody? I'm Brandon. Hey, Brad, today we're about to do another video from WatchMojo.com. This video is titled Top 10 Epic Anime Entrances. Entrances, you know, when they enter. Y'all requested it, so don't trip, you know, I got y'all. Um, what, what you mean? Just the way that they first make an appearance on the show is gonna be epic? Like, that shit gonna be hard? Like, do they mean like that? Or are they talking about literally in, entering like a room or entering a door? You know, like kicking open a door like, I'm here! Like, you know what I mean? I don't know. Y'all requested it. We're going to hop on into it. But before we do, make sure y'all leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to next. Y'all see the beanie? I mean, not the beanie. I'm used to wearing a beanie so much. Y'all see the headband back on, bruh. I told y'all, rocking headbands all summer. This the new swag, nigga. Anyway, let's hop on into it. Dynamic entry! Talk about me. Dynamic right. entry. I, I guess I was a little over enthusiastic. Yeah. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, yeah. and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 epic anime entrances. For this list, we'll be looking at anime characters that make explosive entrances during their respective series. These don't necessarily have to be a first appearance, but there will be a few of those along the way. The scene itself can be hilarious, frightening, cute, or just plain cool. What matters is that it leaves a lasting impact on the audience. Number 10, Dio Brando, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Dio. While the Pillar Man certainly made a fabulous entrance befitting of this awesome but unusual series, there's no one that can dethrone the dastardly and finely dressed vampire, Dio Brando. Appearing before Jotaro's ally, Jean-Pierre Polnareff, Dio reveals just a- The way my nigga stand in the hell of feminine. It involves plenty of menacing. As his stand is revealed, Dio demonstrates his mastery of time manipulation in a small but impactful way. Locking down a set of stairs has never been so terrifying. それは恐怖しているという心を抱かれ。Number nine, Rika Takanashi, love, chinubio, and other delusions. Life can be a little mundane at times. Sometimes just stare at the night sky and hope something new will come your way. Look how little her feet are. The girl only got one eye. Takagashi, that wish came true in the form of a peculiarly dressed girl climbing down onto his balcony. After a series of miscommunications, we see the delightfully she said, do you want to see? You touch return to a world of make believe he's trying ever so hard to forget. This scene may perhaps be the cutest entrance in anime, or the weirdest. We're still trying to figure it out. The most dramatic the door opening I've ever seen. Wait till Captain Levi's! Oh, I remember. I remember this. I remember this episode. When your enemies are giants that hunger for human flesh, you need a special kind of badass to keep it cool. Standing above all others is Levi of the Survey Corps. When we are first introduced to this rather short and grumpy captain, he gave us reason to believe that taking on Titans is just second nature to him. Because yeah. he's damn good at killing them. And he looked bored while doing it too. Able to slice them to pieces with extreme precision and speed, fans actually had a reason to believe that humanity could survive as long as this guy was leading the charge. I know you probably can't Something must have happened to Levi. But I can't help being tired of looking at it. Number seven. All right, Levi. 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 When this series descended into complete insanity, can be pinpointed when we were introduced to the bass playing Vespa scooter riding heroine Haruka. More specifically, when she collides with the withdrawn Naoto. Come back to life! Ah! <laughs> Hella extra, bruh. In the space of about a minute, she runs over him with her scooter, performs CPR, and slams him over the head with her bass guitar. Round two. What you do that for, bitch? Which 
consequently turns his head into a dimensional gateway for all manner of crazy crap to come out of. Yep, that'll set the tone for the show, all right. Oh, shit. Number six, Char Aznable, Gundam, The Origin. He's the iconic poster boy of the Gundam franchise that continues to overshadow all who have come after him. Char makes his debut in the midst of a mind-blowing space battle between the struggling Zeon forces and the mighty Earth Federation. Char weaves through enemy forces and proceeds to shoot down any enemy ship he comes across. The lush animation and rapid pace fully captures Char's prowess as an ace pilot, in a scene that may even surpass his confrontation with Amaro in the original. Char managed to take out five of our battleships single-handedly at the Battle of Bloom. Get us out of He's here! He's clearly a beast. Clearly. Number five, Saber. Fate stay night, unlimited blade works. I know it should be obvious. Saber? But that's the definition a name like of Saber, you justice. gotta be a beast it with a sword, bro. Shiro Emiya, having your family die in a fire, struggling to remain loyal to your ideals of justice, and later being stabbed in the heart by a lance. <laughs> Despite growing up under the tutelage of veteran Kiritsuga, he wasn't exactly ready to become a participant Ooh. in the Fifth Holy Grail War. I'm not gonna yeah, be killed here for no reason. Attacked yeah, once again by Lancer, he inadvertently summons his servant, who happens to be the toughest nail Saber. After elegantly materializing, she wastes no time in proving her worth as a warrior and badass in oh, general is a their attacker and asking she that unforgettable be question. I ask you, are you worthy to be my master? Number four, Naruto Uzumaki. Naruto Shippuden. Naruto! There have been many times when this knuckle-headed ninja has leapt out of the blue to save the day. However, this is the one where he showed he was no longer a child, but a great ninja. Amidst the ruins of Hidden Leaf Village, sporting a new look mm, and it's a good stage mode, Naruto My boy arrives turn. on the end of a gargantuan toad. Yes, save mode. Naruto. It's the perfect start to what would in turn be an epic fight against the unparalleled pain. This fight was had a crazy. This world shall know pain. Number three, Team Rocket, Pokemon. <laughs> to protect the Team world Rocket, bro. Team Rocket, bro. To peoples within our nation. To denounce the evils of truth and love. To extend our reach to the stars above. Jesse. James. Team Rocket, bless up at the speed of light. Surrender now. Or prepare to fight. Yes. That's right. right. What are you talking about? All right, I'm like, Where would Pokemon kidding. be without them? The trio of Jesse, James, and their talking feline Meowth have had only one goal in life for the past 20 years, to capture that Pikachu. Of course, when the series first started, they never there was never a of threat to them. Never Ever since their debut, bro. their iconic motto has become something of a routine, albeit with slight changes every now and then. I can't hold it in any longer. I have to stay prepared for trouble. Oh, yes, you said double. By now, it's as much a part of the series as the Pokemon themselves. Thanks for everything, Team Rocket. Now, kindly blast off again. <laughs> They still do that every episode? Number two, Kamina, Gurren Lagan. You lose your drill? Too bad. There's another bro here. Dumbass! The reputation of Team Gurren echoes far and wide. It's badass leader, a man of spirit, a paragon of total masculinity. One of the greatest things that this anime ever contributed to the genre was the universally loved character of Kamina. What was there not to like? He was constantly <laughs> sure of who he was as a human being, his confidence could never be shaken, and overall just a man among men. Don't forget, my universe is the universe that's in here. Right, bro. Which is what made his death so damn shocking. To our delight, he returned to the series you briefly with Simone and the others so are shocking. trapped in a multiverse of the spirals making. Even if he wasn't exactly alive, the spirit of Kamina manages to reinvigorate Simone, allowing the team to break free of the illusion and finish the fight. Let's go, buddy! <laughs> Before we reveal our number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Silver. Oh no, that was lit. I like that. Oh. You see a bee? 
she a beast? <laughs> oh. <laughs> That was a nice entrance, bro. sitting on the throne? I am Toyotomi Hideyoshi. Let your fealty to me now and become one under my command. You're a cheater, bro. Do you agree with our list? You're a cheater. From what I just saw, this nigga a cheater. He over here parting clouds and doing all type of crazy stuff. But anyway, this was a good little list, though. Thank you all so much for suggesting it. Another great video from WatchMojo.com. Um, yeah, these interests, they were pretty epic, bro. Now I understand. Cause in the beginning, I'm like, how are you going to be epic? Like, what are you talking about? This makes sense. Let me know what y'all thought down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.